this photograph shows a child separated from the rest of his family uh, in the wood or lodge ghetto in German-occupied Poland. Uh, he is separated from his relatives because he's going to be deported separately from them to the Kelno Killing Center. Lodge is the most long-lasting entity of its kind. It existed until August of 1944, at a time when most ghettos in Poland had already been liquidated. For example, the Warsaw Ghetto had been liquidated already uh, in May of 1943. And the reason for the longevity, for good or for ill, uh, of the Lodge Ghetto has to do with the work of Chaim Romkowski, who was the chairman of the Jewish Council, or Judenrat. Romkowski had a kind of strategy. He said, we have to cooperate fully with the Germans. We must comply with all of their orders. And as he said very often, our sole survival depends on our labor and the willingness of the ghetto inhabitants to provide labor for the Germans, to be indispensable for the forced labor that they produced. Uh, Romkowski sees the first uh, deportations from the ghetto uh, to Kelno in December of 1941. And at this time, it becomes apparent to the Jewish Council the strategy behind German resettlement policy, that Jews are going to their deaths at killing centers. When faced with similar circumstances, the head of the Warsaw Ghetto, Adam Chernikov, committed suicide rather than comply with German requests to fill the quotas and to fill out deportation orders for the inhabitants of the Warsaw Ghetto. But Brankowski was adamant. He insisted that they continue to comply with German demands to fill out the deportation lists and to deport to sacrifice a portion of the ghetto's inhabitants that the rest of the ghetto might live. Uh, following this December 1941, those initial deportations, there's peace for about eight months in the Lodge Ghetto, the Wuch Ghetto. But uh, in late summer of 1942, the Germans come back and request an additional 20,000 deportees that are going to the deaths in the Kelmo Killing Center. And over the objections of the rest of the Jewish Council, Romkowski came up with a desperate and terrible solution. He decided that he would sacrifice uh, those individuals who were unable to work within the ghetto so that the rest of the ghetto would survive. And on the 4th of September, he came before the parents of the Lodge Ghetto and demanded, give me your children. Uh, and indeed, in the next days, from the 5th to the 12th of September, 1942, Nazi officials swept up the elderly, the ill, often shooting them directly in their hospital beds, and children under the age of 10. Uh, they, in all in those days, they seized about 15,500 people, the vast majority of them elderly, people over 65 years of age and children under 10. And here you see heart-rending scenes uh, as depicted in this picture of children being separated from their family at the prison uh, where, the central prison in which where these individuals were held prior to their deportation. And did this help? Uh, not in the end. Uh, Romkowski died with the rest of his family in August 1944 when the ghetto was liquidated uh, and the remaining inhabitants of the Lodge Ghetto sent to Auschwitz.